<clears throat> um, hey everyone, it's Vanhu2234, uh, just signing into YouTube right now, I'm just trying a little bit of a different setup with the lights, uh, uh, and everything, so, yeah, um, I have a few things to talk to you about today, uh, and I hope you can hear me clearly, um, number one is that, uh, I actually, uh, <clears throat> my car got damaged the other day. Uh, as most of you know, I'm a university student, and, uh, yeah, I just parked my car, and, uh, it happened to be, you know, the normal drunken Thursday night, and, uh, some kids stepped on my car, like, w like, walked onto my car, basically, and, uh, uh, basically kept running, <laughs> and, uh, the whole windshield's damage, and, and, uh, the roof of my car is damaged, so uh, basically it costs, uh, it's going to cost about $4,000 in damage uh, that was done to my car, so that kind of sucks. Um, uh, just one, a few other things, hold on, I just need to bring up one thing here on my laptop. Um, I'm going to answer a question that someone had. But it was on one. Of, it was actually posted on one of my videos. My uh, I think it was my "Why Choose a Bold" video, um, and it's ammo sixty seven ninety one. Um, and to answer your question, um, I do think that you should. I I don't know my experience. Like I don't have much experience with the Nokia phone that you were using, but. Um, the BlackBerry Bold uh, browser, it works pretty good. Uh, you could go to John Four Lakers um, YouTube channel and check the difference between that and the iPhone. Um, it's pretty fast. It works well. I mean, uh, you scroll with uh, um, the Pearl is what they call it. So, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. And, and that's the phone that I use, and that's... I mean, a lot of, uh, if you go to CNET.com, they'll, they'll even say that, you know, between, it's the best smartphone with the QWERTY keyboard, um, it beats all, uh, in terms of touch phones, uh, touch screen phones, you would have to go between the Storm and the iPhone, I don't have much, uh, experience with the Storm yet. Um, hopefully I will get some experience, but yeah, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that, uh, and, uh, another thing is, uh, I was listening to my friend's video, uh, or not a friend, but, uh, this guy that I, I subscribe to, Sexy Phil, he was talking about the GM bailout, and, um, and first of all, I just want to talk about the options that GM has in this uh, upcoming bailout package. Now, a lot of people think that GM shouldn't get bailed out and that they should declare bankruptcy. And um, to clarify what that means is, you know, you declare bankruptcy, you don't have any money, and you can operate under no costs uh, for several years until you're deemed profitable again. And... But the problem is, is when you declare bankruptcy is, uh, people don't want to buy your cars because you can't really offer a good warranty on them because, uh, over the next few years, you might not even be in business. Um, so that poses a problem. Um, what GM really needs to do is either, in my opinion, do that and hope for the best, or they can not only, because everyone's just blames it on the CEOs and, oh, they're rich, so let's blame it on the CEOs. But let's face it, you need to uh, make the pl uh, GM plants more um, uh, efficient. Uh, the reason why Honda, I mean, no car manufacturer is doing well right now, but the reason why Honda and, and BMW and all the rest are doing better than, than GM is because of things like um, the fact that their plants are non-unionized. So, um, what you need to, what you need to do is cut out, or basically work with the unions and cut out some of their benefits and take away some of, uh, their, uh, um, jeez, 
uh, sorry, you take out some of their costs and benefits, for example, like their pay, some, like, my, uh, I call him uncle, whatever, but um, he's a, a friend of my mom's, he, uh, he basically makes $70 an hour to screw in three screws into a door, uh, and then send it along the assembly line, that's ridiculous, you know, when, when, you know, 80% of the union is making that much, you know, um, you got a problem because uh, it skyrockets the rest of the costs. So um, I think that's what they should do is work with the unions and, and work overall to work on um, making the whole of GM, Ford, Chrysler, all of them um, more uh, efficient, cost efficient in terms of the plants. Uh, another thing is that the, uh, the companies need to focus, I mean, we talk about the uh, Chevy Volt coming out, but they need to really work on uh, maybe cutting their costs or losses rather for the next few years and working on um, solely on just research into hybrid cars and not only hybrid cars, but, you know, hydrogen and every sort of uh, source of new fuel energy that, that is up and coming. Basically, you want to be the uh, the cutting edge, the the leading edge, and then people buy your technology, people want to buy your cars, people invest in your company, and so on and so forth. So, um, so yeah, and then uh, uh, I also want to talk about a few other things. Number one, um, Panasonic uh, announced a few days ago that they would have, um, that they are now coming out with a 400 gigabyte, um, I can't remember if it was a CD or if it was a Blu-ray disc, but either way, it's fucking amazing. I'm sorry for the swears, but that that's just ridiculous. Just because um, you, I mean, 400 gigabytes, that's bigger than most people's hard drives on their computer. Uh, and if you think about the content that can go on there in terms of gaming, not even going into CDs, but in terms of gaming um, uh, and programs, programs and games are going to become so complex and so not only so complex but like in terms of length you're going to be able to store much more uh content and 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 have a way more elaborate uh storyline on each of uh your games that are coming up or whatever so that's another neat neat fact um just want to say um it's exams are done and or sorry exams are beginning and school is done so uh that's something i guess to look forward to your, the ends uh near for me and uh just kind of trying to forge on um a few more things that i want to talk about is my experience with installing the three gigs of ram on my uh, macintosh it's really helped to um clean things up in a sense uh thing animations like when i uh put it into the arrow and it uh or basically the alt quote unquote alt tab for the map and uh choose another screen and bring up the dashboard or widgets um things uh basically happen faster and i can have more programs running without um, slowing it down. There's a lot less slowdowns. You don't see the beach ball as much. You still see it every so often. Um, my computer needs cleaning up in the first place. Plus, I started out with an 80 gig um, hard drive. And uh, hold on, an 80 gig hard drive. And I'm I'm and it's it only has about 20 gigs left. But even still, you know I I have. Uh, um, it's it's working a lot smoother than it was with uh two gigs. Um not much else to talk about. I bought uh Sean White snowboarding game. It's uh, I don't really like it. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone and I, I could get to that uh separately uh in another video review.